Hello and welcome to how to get free Wii games using USB Loader GX. For this tutorial you will need three things. An SD card with Hobra installed, an SD card reader for your PC and also a game drive for like a USB stick or an external hard drive to store all your games on. Now let's get on to the tutorial. And once you make sure you've had these things, you want to head over to your PC. On the PC, you want to plug in your homebrewed SD card with the mic with the SD card reader that we got earlier. So you just plug it into your PC. Uh, like so. And File Explorer should pop up. So now what we want to do is we want to open up an internet browser of your choice and we're going to Google USB loader GX like so and we want to go to this source forge download here and you just want to click I accept and you want to click download and wait for five seconds and now it will ask me where I want to save it so I'm going to save it to my desktop for convenience sake So now that it's downloaded, we can exit out of our internet browser over here. And we're going to bring this file over here. So it should say USB load GX. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and extract here. We should get an apps folder. You want to go inside the apps folder, you should have a USB loader GX. Now you want to go over to your SD card, I've named it WSD. Go in two apps up here and you want to drag in let me just open up apps here again this USB loader GX folder and it should be here like so. now you can delete your these two folders so you've dragged over to the SD card now what we're going to do is we're going to find an ISO from the game we want to download so what we're going to do is we're again going to go onto the internet and we're going to go to a ROM website. So I'm just going to use NiceROM.com, it's a ROM site that I found that works. And we're going to find Nintendo Wii. And for this tutorial I'm going to download Wii Sports Resort, but you can download whatever game you want. So I'm just going to search here. Wii Sports Resort, as you can see. And here's Wii Sports Resort. We're going to click it. I download links and show download link search for the internet so this it looks quite fishy but trust me it's all right and then we're going to click this bot 7 z file here and then I'm just going to save it to um, just the desktop for now. save and then this is going to take a sec I'll be back once our 690 meg file has finished downloading once your download is completed, you want to extract it to get the ISO file, which is easy. I'm just going to delete this because we have this program, but I'm going to show you how to download it. Now I'm going to go back into the internet browser. I'm going to go search up WBFS manager. Up here, we're going to go to one of these, whichever one you trust. I don't know. I'm just going to go to File Croco. Download. This looks really dodgy. It should be in a zip. Download the top one. It's a zip. So this should be right. We're going to save it to our desktop. And it's downloaded completely. So now we're going to go and extract this to our desktop here. We should get this folder. Now we're going to double click inside it and run setup.exe. Should get preparing to install. Welcome. We're going to browse. We're going to go. To do wherever you want. I'm just going to install mine to the D drive. It just everyone, it doesn't matter. Done. Hopefully, this is legit. We're trusted to file that we got. It will just install. It shouldn't take long. I'm not going to cut it out. 
hurry up. Take a second here. Never normally takes this long to be honest, so this is probably just a normally but install a second. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel it. Hey, you know what? Installation was interrupted, yeah. So now we're gonna restart it if it if it failed like mine did. Next, and then we're gonna browse. Which actually, you know what? We're just gonna do. We're just gonna go. Put it where it wants to be put. And um, yes, everything it says. Oh, and here we are. Here's our a lovely file over here. The close. And we should have WBFS Manager 4.0. We'll run it. Yes. And we should get this uh, little screen thing here. Give it a second to load. You should get this. It should say, Welcome to WBFS Manager. You can read it if you want, but I'm just going to click OK. I'm use this You should click OK again. So now what we're going to do is you want to insert your game drive or your USB drive like so. I have USB drive E, you want to make sure it's clean. Okay, so now you want to go up here to refresh drivers. Click it once. We're going to go to drive and select E or wherever your USB is located. Find it here. And the drop down menu. And click load. So it should say error loading drive. You just want to click OK. Now you want to click this format button. Yes, and it will say an error occurred whilst attempting to format the drive. This is pretty normal. So at this point what you want to do is you want to click OK and exit out of the program. You want to go down to type in search, you want to type in disk. And it should say create a format hard disk partitions, you want to open it. And you should get disk management. Now we want to scroll down to where it says E, down here. You want to right click. Delete volume, click yes. And eventually, and once we've deleted the volume, hopefully it should work. Sometimes it doesn't work. Make sure it's on E again. Format, yes. And now, format completed successfully. The WBFS drive is now ready. This is what we want. So now what we're going to do is we can go minimize that and we're going to delete the raw file because we do not need this anymore. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to move this to a different location and just keep this uh, shortcut here. So I'm just going to move this somewhere off camera. Or you can do it now if you want. Now we're going to go to WBFS Manager. Make sure E is selected from the, from the drop down menu and click load. And those grayed out sections should go white. Now what you want to do is you want to click browse down here on this side. It should come here. So now we're going to go to our desktop or wherever your ISO is located. You want to click it, click open and it should come up here. If it doesn't then you need a proper ISO. Now what you want to do is you want to go to this button that says Add to Drive. Should not take long. As I said, I'm not trying not to make many, many cuts in this video so you see everything that I'm doing here. This won't take long. So, yeah, this is Resports as well. So, earlier I used a program. So, mine actually came out of the zip as a WBFS, but you can go on the internet and search WBFS to ISO. I have this program, it's very good. You should use it. That I just converted it to an ISO. That's how I did it. So. Still waiting for this, it's a bit sluggish, depending on the speed of your drive. 
You can also add multiple ISOs at a time. Almost done. I'll also add on text to the screen if you want to skip to when this is done. The timestamp. No, oh, still waiting. Eventually it should finish. Almost done here. And here we are. And it should say completed adding entries to WBFS. Click OK. Now make sure this one over here to games to add to WBFS drive is selected. Click remove from list. And it should remove from this list. And now we should see our game over here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of WBFS Manager, go down to File Explorer, and right click and eject your game drive. Now we're going to go upstairs or wherever your Wii is located and we're going to launch the Hover channel. Now we powered off, we're going to insert our game drive into the USB port on the right hand side of the Wii. Should, there we go. Then we're going to get our homebrewed SD card. And then, give me a second. And then put it that in the front of the Wii. So, like so. Ooh. Has to be the right way around. Fill with one and then use my other hand. Now we want to power it on. We grab our Wii remote. And now what we're going to do is we're going to launch the homebrew channel. Like so. Start. Did we click start? Yep. <laughs> now we should see USB loader GX here. We want to click it and then click load. It should say loading. Loading resources. And here we are. We should have WSP, whatever your game name is. And we just go click on A on it. And then here we are. Here's your game. We're going to start it. The Wii Remote should flash. You can see it will connect in a second. And it crumbles and it connects. You just click OK. New save data has been created for Wii Sports Resort. Oh, and we have to calibrate this. Just put it on the table or something. Pick it back up. And then the game works seamlessly, as you can see. Like so. Oh, I'm going to die. Going down. I'm going up. Oh. So, my, my Wii remote, I'm turning it like this. It's turning it on the screen. Hard to film. Hey, right, I'm gonna beat you at skydive. Oh, oh. Lapro, Lapro skills. So I'm gonna stop there because then we menu it returns. He doesn't return you to the home channel actually. It returns you to the home menu. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was easy to follow and easy to watch. And make sure to give it a like. And I'll be releasing more videos like this soon. Goodbye.